everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, Fixing It Up with Sandra. In case you're new here, I'm Sandra, and today we're gonna do a super fun project. It's something that I've kind of worked on um, about a month ago, and I've been uh, test burning it for basically this entire time. Um, so now I feel confident in showing you guys what I'm creating, how to create it, and how to make it look so cute. We are going to make a Fruit Loop cereal bowl candle. Ah! So, anyways, let me show you guys how to make this. Um, let me show you the stuff, the stuff that I have to use to make this, and um, so you can create your own. Okay, so right here I have my Fruit Loops, my wax um, cereal pieces. Aren't these fabulous? Oh my god, I love them. So yes, I made them myself. I have a mold. We'll do another tutorial with that. I have some clear cereal bowls that I got at the Dollar Tree. I have my CD20 wicks, my glue gun, and of course, the star of the show, the Fruit Loop um, fragrance by Sierra Candle. Smells incredible. It smells just like the Fruit Loop cereal. I am obsessed with this. And so right now we have, I say we, there's nobody else here but me. I have my wax, in my presto pot um so this is going to be pretty fast once um this is this melts and um yeah i'll show you how step by step how it's done all right so we're going to go ahead and place our wick i'm going to triple wick this because i did do a test burn with double wicks and it didn't burn completely to the side so we're just going to do the triple wick what i'm doing right now is i'm marking where i want my wicks to go and i'm marking it on the bottom with a dry erase marker and you can do this if you are new to it so then you can see where you're going to place your wicks and if you want to make sure that you get it right on every single one this is how you're going to do it okay how cool is this right or you can flip it over and do it like this if you want i'm just doing this ah This is where I'm gonna glue my wicks. And as seasoned as I am with candle making, I still, you know, like to foolproof things if I can, because I am human, things can happen. Um, so yeah, this is how I foolproof that. And here's what I also use. I use a straw to help push my wicks down. Some people use a wick setter. To me, this is 10 times faster. And a straw is 10 times cheaper. Let me just tell you that. So I just place my wick into my straw and it has to be those jumbo straws, like the ones that have like the big opening. And let me just get my glue in here. All right. And because we, you know, placed our wick or marked it where our wicks are gonna go, this is so much easier. So you just place it down, right, like so. And that is it. So now our wicks are set. We're going to go ahead and do this on all the bowls, and I'll be right back. All right. And to hold my wicks in place, I just get uh, bamboo skewers and some tape and make my own um wick holders i guess you can say and this is a little different because it is a three wick candle but as you can see you can figure this out ah. all right you just overlap them just a little bit there all right, we're just gonna do this to each one. I might have to get longer skew or longer um, skewers. Maybe that one will work with this one. I use these all the time. I refuse to like buy the, I did buy the, the metal ones for my smaller jars, but like for the bigger jars, I mean, these work just fine. There. Okay, let me grab some more, I'll be right back. And the great thing about this is that I've actually had the same bamboo skewers 
to, to um, hold my wicks, I would say probably since I started, um, because they just, they work so well. And just like so, I mean, come on. Like, let me just get into the frame. So yeah, so this works just as well. So if you're like, I don't have all the money to like spend on all of the fancy candle items, definitely try to, um, try to, you know, create your own, um, when you can. I try to go budget friendly everywhere also because it helps keep my cost down for my, for my candles. All right. So now that these are prepped, it's time to check on our wax and see if it's ready. Okay. So here's what I do. I just take a skewer, just stir it. Um, I'll see what my temp is at. I like to get this to about 180, 190. Um, and we're not adding any color to this. So this is going to be the super easy part. And we are just about there. All right, you can see my little setup. I have this metal stand that I got from Amazon. It's a microwave stand. It works beautifully. Got my little scale right here. And I'm gonna get it to grams. One second. All right, I have a better scale at my shop, but this is what I have here. So now we're just gonna pour the wax in. And I just want to let you know, I use these um, containers that I, I get them at the Dollar Tree. $1. twenty-five as opposed to the metal containers, which I do own, um, way cheaper. And again, it keeps my costs down. So if you can get them, if not order them online, it's well worth it. I use it for almost all of my crafts. I absolutely love these containers. They're microwave safe. I use them for my soaps, my candles, everything. So I absolutely love them. All right, so we're gonna put quite a bit of wax in here because we're gonna fill up four candles. Okay. And like I said, we are not coloring this. We are simply gonna be adding fragrance oils to it. We're almost there. Perfect. I cannot believe it's perfect. So I'm just gonna throw some paper towel on top of my scale just to absorb the um, wax that drips. And now let's add our fragrance oil to this. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my little cup. I love these little Dixie cups. Move this out of the way. All right, and All right, so this. All right, there we go. All right, this smells so good. My mouth is watering. All right, we are going to let this cool till about, I don't know, I'm gonna let it cool to about 1.30. Um, again, no dye. We're just going to let it cool and then we're going to pour it into the bowls. I already know how much each bowl is going to um, hold. So once this cools down, I'll show you that. All right. So my wax has cooled to 130 and I'm going to so carefully pick this up and I'm going to pour the wax into here to the amount that I want. The reason why I love this bowl too is that it has a really nice pour spout. So it allows me to um, pour without a big mess. All right. And then once this dries, it's not gonna dry clear, it's gonna dry white. So that's gonna be like the milk. And then we will add the, I almost said Cheerios, I don't know why, but we'll add the Fruit Loops right on top of it. 
All right, I know my hand is directly in front of everything. I get so lost in the moment that I forget that I'm covering your view. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna to toss this one to the side. Not toss, but lay. All right, and we're gonna let these cool, which will take some time, but I'm okay with it. And then we're gonna come back. You will need a heat gun for this, just to let you know, um, because we're gonna let this solidify and then we are going to heat the top of it and then lay our cereal down. I do wanna say that the cereal is not fragrance. This is just like a topper. I don't fragrance any of my toppers because I want to be able to use them whenever, um, even though obviously these will probably be only used in this candle, but I'm not gonna add any to the bottom. They're just gonna go through the top. So let's let this cool. Um, it might take a few hours, but then we'll come back to it. Okay, as you can see, my candles have solidified. Now, we're gonna have to improvise because I did not um, bring my heat gun here, so we are going to use my hair dryer. So, <laughs> As you see, I've taken the, the wood off the wick and I'm gonna heat up this bowl. I'm not gonna do this with it, um, with the volume on because this is loud. So pause one moment. Okay, now that I have melted like just the top layer, I'm gonna start adding my Fruit Loops and I'm gonna just use some tweezers that I picked up at the dollar store. Um, and I'm gonna cover the entire top with the cereal maybe easier to just place it if the candle like if the top starts to solidify again you can just use your heat gun i'm just working in sections so i if it this part does um solidify i can you know heat that area up this is so much fun look at how cute this is turning out and Super adorable. I get some purples in there. And like I said, the fragrance is not in the Fruit Loop itself because um, they're just easier to make without having to put dye, or I'm sorry, to put fragrance in it. work a little faster right here I'm trying to get all the colors on here I get the blue hold on like it let's see what happens if you just sprinkle that's what I'm trying to do let's see kind of mix these up and then okay okay so we're figuring out a new way to do this <laughs> like let's just see what happens and then just kind of tuck them in because you I guess you do want it to really look like um a bowl of cereal and it's not all placed in you know perfectly when you pour a bowl of cereal so I've got my little nugget peeking and trying to see what I'm doing. Let me pick some more reds in here. Get some of the blues. Get some orange purple all right the wax is still somewhat the top layer is still a little soft so i'm just making sure that every piece of the fruit loop is in fact in the candle and then i'm just going to do a quick um uh, heat over <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, there we go. I love it. All right, guys, here is my first Fruit Loop cereal bowl. I'm gonna trim the wicks in just a second. Um, this is what Nugget's been trying to do. She's been trying to get my attention. And then I'm going to go ahead and top the rest of these with my heat gun. I'll do that tomorrow, but I definitely wanted you to see this right here. So let me trim the wicks real fast. Okay, so I trimmed the wicks down. As you can see right here is my wick trimmer. This is the mold that I used. Um, and I wanna make sure that all of my Fruit Loops are solidified in here, like they're all stuck. I don't want somebody to pick up the bowl of, or the candle and then all my all the Fruit Loops come falling out. So there you go. Look at, look at. All right, guys, so what do you think of my Fruit Loop candle? I love it. Um, it smells incredible. It smells like a bowl of Fruit Loops. I think I'm gonna call this one um, Saturday morning because remember when you were a kid, I'm just cleaning this up. Remember when you were a kid and you would like get your bowl of cereal, go watch the Saturday morning cartoons and life was so easy. Memories like, I'm like, hmm, takes me back. And this takes me back. Hmm. But anyways, if you like this kind of stuff, because people have been asking for candle tutorials, thumbs this up leave a comment. Let me know what you think. You want to see some fun candle stuff like this? Um, yeah, comment, like, share, subscribe, all of the fun stuff. Um, I want to keep bringing you guys things that I love to do, even though I know you guys are like all about reads right now, but I'm like, I've got more to show you. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, and I will see you guys again in my next tutorial. I just want to say these will be available in my shop online um, next week because they have to cure, but um, you can grab one. Link is in the bio. Hopefully you guys will grab one up um, and you can try this out for yourself. Thanks guys for watching.